I'm gonna show you a really, really quick and delicious pasta recipe using some lovely prawns, peas, some green beans. It's very, very simple. And it's from my new book, Midweek Meals. So this is it here, 100 recipes, 100 lovely images, and uh, really fast and delicious food. So it's doing really well. Thank you so much for the support. I hope if you get it, that you use it and enjoy it. And um, there's four different chapters in it. Slow cooker chapter, one pan uh, dishes, which is what we're doing here, supermarket sweep, and uh, then if the store cupboard is bare, what do we do? So there's loads of lovely recipes in it. So thank you so much. Right, we're going to um, start by cooking our pasta. We're gonna heat our skillet, and this is the small skillet, and we're going to just rustle this up very, very quickly. It's super, super um, quick. So this is some fresh egg spaghetti. I have to say, this is probably my favorite fresh pasta. Uh, it's one that we always have in our uh, fridge. Uh, a packet of it would usually feed the four of us. That's myself, Imelda, Connor, Lucia, and it's really delicious. I just boil it with some uh, water some salt i'm only going to do a small amount and it'll keep really really well as a great shelf life in this keep it in the fridge if you open it don't put it back into the fridge like that cover it in cling film and it'll happily keep so i'm just going to literally do a large handful of this now you can use the or the papadel pasta and you can use dried pasta so this is the fresh egg pasta here so i'm just going to break this here just another little bit there we go I love that, just even on its own, the twins, if they want something quick, it cooks literally in two minutes. It's so, so delicious. Let's um, just get a spoon and stir that. Let that cook away. I have a lid there. Kind of doesn't really need a lid, to be honest with you. Now, let's heat our pan. We're going to use a little bit of oil and butter in this. Okay, so a small amount of butter. We're gonna put in our uh, prawns and our green beans. So really important with the oil, it stops the butter from burning. That's really, really important. So we'll put in our green beans. We can cut them in half if you want to. I'm just gonna throw them in like that. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna show you a little tip here, just to stop it. It's a little bit too hot. So just a little bit of water. It's gonna be noisy. You're kind of steam frying. Just to give that a little stir there. Lovely. These are our prawns that I'm using, okay? So these are the warm water black tiger prawns. Uh, this recipe works really, really well with the Dublin Bay prawns, which are known as langoustines. They are delicious, some scallops, mussels. It'll work well with lots of different fish. So these are the prawns, they're already cooked. So all you're doing is just literally warming them up. Okay, so that's gonna go in there. We're gonna pop in our frozen peas, and they're still frozen, as you can see. So lots of goodness, you can use spinach in this. Every so often, if you can, throw your eyes over at the pasta. Just give that a little stir using the same spatula. So I've turned up the heat. Okay, we're just gonna let this cook out for a moment. I'm gonna grate a little bit of lemon zest, and we're gonna put the lemon juice and then some creme fraiche. So it's super quick. Lots of lovely lemon zest. This is my micro plane, and um, you just literally place it onto the pan like that and just grate it, because that actually supports uh, and helps your wrist, so it does. So we're gonna put in the juice of the lemon too. Now, just let that cook away. You'll see a little bit of water coming and that's really from the frozen peas. Pasta should be done. We're literally going to strain a little bit of the water. Yes, the water from the pasta in there. And then we'll put in the creme fraiche. So no need to refresh this. Now if I was just having this on its own, I'll switch that off. A little bit of butter in there, it's delicious. Because you've already had seasoned, a little bit of black pepper, some parmesan, so nice. This is a really nice creme fraiche and it's from Donegal. So it's great to see the great dairy that we have, you know, that we really do have. Look at that, it's delicious, it's lovely and fresh it's, and zingy, I love that. So we're gonna stir that through. So this is kind of making the sauce for our lovely pasta. So with the pasta water, it kind of loosens it up a little bit. You can see it now. No need to put wine on any of that. You wanna keep all the goodness in the vegetables. Again, I say you could cut those green beans into a smaller um, in, in half, whatever you feel like eating. So just mix this all through. So the prawns are already cooked. So you're just gonna mix this all through. We're gonna put in some lemon juice. Just check there's no seeds there. And just with the little reamer here, probably half a lemon, because I'm only doing half the recipe. So I know a lot of you have been using the book, so thank you very much. It's uh, going really well. It's uh, my 16 cookbook, and I definitely think it's uh, one of the most used cookbooks so far, so thanks a million for that. Right, look at the way the sauce is nice and loose. That's exactly what I want. 
the lemon juice goes in there we're going to turn that right down and then some lovely fresh basil so we're just going to pick this off and we're just going to chop this or you can tear it in it doesn't matter i love fresh basil you could put in some pesto if you wanted to into this but with fresh herbs if you can always add them in at the last minute they work really well okay let's switch that off we pop in our pasta roll this up curve your fingers and using the big knife watch the fingers now when you're doing this so just be careful 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 and that's going to go all in there lovely and fresh in goes the pasta it's already cooked and then literally you just mix this all through and you can actually just serve this in the center of the table as it is i think it looks so nice actually in the skillet pot you can do this with penne pasta if you're using dried pasta it's going to take a little bit longer to cook just make sure it's nicely coated and if you need a little bit more creme fraiche you can put some in you don't want it too saucy you don't want it too dry and then we just serve up it's as easy as that so using um my carving fork it just makes the pasta a little bit easier just to lift just out of the saucepan okay so we're just going to arrange that and then i'll just use my spoon just to get all that nice green beans all the lovely prawns look at see that there so just arrange that just all around it's lovely very rustic very simple and quick and of course you could just do this with some um, nice vegetables which would work really really well with this but i think these prawns are delicious there's a little bit of a texture to them and they're lovely and fresh i'm going to put another bit more lemon zest just over that a little bit of grated parmesan you won't make a quicker pasta dish in tenya using that fresh beautiful simply better fresh pasta and there we go so that's my uh, spaghetti you can use linguine or whatever kind of pasta you prefer so that's my uh, spaghetti with the lovely green beans and those lovely prawns peas a little bit of basil and some creme fraiche so enjoy this very very simple recipe remember it's from my cook new cookbook midweek meals and happy cooking and thank you so much for all the support thanks again